you know, it's fun um, when you get proved right. And this is a situation where more and more the warnings that have been given about us doing a trade deal with the US to a situation where they are now going to force on us their standards, not the ones that we make, their standards, is becoming even more likely. Because today, uh, well, last week, Donald Trump sent a letter to the US Congress about this very thing. So, this comes from the Business Insider. So, Donald Trump's administration has said the UK must scrap unjustified food and agricultural standards before it can sign a free trade deal with the US after Brexit. So, all our standards that have caused us to have the highest food standards. Remember, this is the food that you eat. You want it to be at the highest standard you, you possibly can. Donald Trump says that those standards are unjustified. Not only that, I also want to point out that in the US, food, compared to food you can buy in the UK, is 20% more expensive. But, so yeah, but get ready for that price rise after Brexit, because there are going to be a whole lot of people that suddenly get really angry. And we know what happens when, shall we say, the poor masses are, shall we say, starving. Doesn't normally end well. So, the US Trade Representative sent a letter to the US Congress on Tuesday, formally announcing President Trump's intention to negotiate a free trade deal with the UK once it left the EU. The letter states that any UK EU trade uh, UK EU trade deal must represent the US Trade Priorities and Accountability Act, which requires the reducing or eliminating of unjustified sanitary or uh, physio 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 sanitary restrictions or other unjustified technical barriers to trade. So essentially, what they want is to deregulate and take away all the protections of our food producing industry and our agriculture industry. Now we've already talked at length in other videos why this will be bad for our farmers. And what they would have to do is essentially adopt the US standards which produce a lower standard of food quality in this country and you would probably see a lot more um, especially a rise in food related problems in this country um where are we yes so <coughs> business in business inside which we went over this highlighted last month that under the US food uh, regulation pro uh, producers are allowed to contain certain amounts of foreign bodies like maggots rat hair and mold in a range of food products sold to consumers yeah, break us here's that wonderful trade deal you're saying is going to save us. Um, yeah, thanks. The letter will alarm MPs, health campaigners and animal welfare charities who have expressed concern that the US will demand the US that the demand the US will demand the UK accepts food producers um, for a lower standard than it does now as an EU member state. Joe Stevens, the Labour MP and supporter of the People's Vote campaign, told BI the Section uh, 102 of the US Trade, Trade Priorities and Accountability Act could not be clear. The, U the aim of the US negotiators is to reduce food protection standards to the US level and to abolish geographical indicators. She added, this is what the US meant when it says it wants to remove non-tariff barriers, and Liam Fox never denies it. Instead, he issues the standard non-denial denial that f uh, fails to address any of the key issues. British consumers do not want this, they did not vote for it, and will not stand for it. It is disgusting that Brexit is being used as a cover to reduce food standards and consumer protection. Numerous US officials, including Donald Trump himself, has criticised EU rules when it comes to food hygiene. So, that's just food hygiene. <laughs> Wilbur Ross, uh, uh, Trump's trade secretary, said last October that scrapping strict EU food standards in, air, in, 
in standards in areas like food, hygiene and agriculture will be a critical component to any post-Brexit US-UK free trade deal. The UK Trade Secretary Liam Fox has repeatedly denied suggestions that he is prepared to lower or compromise UK food standards. Speaking to representatives of the agricultural sector on Wednesday, the minister said, There have been lots of reports lately, mostly on social media, that my department has been planning to lower food and farming standards when negotiating a free trade, trade agreement post-Brexit. Well, today I am here in person and let me tell you categorically that re those reports are untrue. However, Liam Fox has not explicitly ruled out accepting US food standards in a post-Brexit trade deal agreement. In November, he said he had no objection to UK consumers eating food products which are currently banned in the EU, like chlorinated washed chicken, after Britain leaves the EU. So, and this is just the start of a lot of this stuff. And this should show to a lot of Brexiteers that we do not have <coughs> um, this incredible influence that a lot of them seem to claim that we do, um, especially when it comes to trade deals. This will not be good for our country to lower our food standards, not only that, but in food hygiene. Remember, Trump has just categorically said in that, in that letter he wants to lower food hygiene standards. Are you seriously telling me that you would be so desperate to do a trade deal with the US that you would compromise the food standards and hygiene of you that you eat today in this country to accept food that has rat hair, human hair, mold and various other things that could probably end up being eaten in your food are you seriously prepared to accept that? I don't think a lot of you are.